Hi guys, what's up? We're in the next part. Please uh, go check out the previous part to gauge your bearings. So I was telling you in my previous part, just as a little bit of a recap, about this one girl on YouTube whose content I found. She was living out of her car, homeless, but she was looking all done. And I was inclined to disagree that she is poverty stricken because of how done her whole face was and her body and accused her of being wrong. I then spoke about how in 1 Corinthians 13 it's written that love always trusts. And I did not walk in love concerning that girl. I then told you that God gave me a dream. Um, not a dream. It was, was no, it was a vision while I was sitting here, like living in these internetless conditions where I was that girl. I was the white chick living out of her car with her face done and the whole world did not believe that she's actually really, truly poverty stricken, but that she has manufactured these conditions to win the empathy of the internet. I then went on right ahead to say that unfortunately that's just how the world, um, is pretty privilege is a total thing it is an incredible fact and it is unfortunate that that is a fact because everybody should be treated honestly and equally but the earth is not so honest and equal in the millennial reign of jesus christ only then are we going to see some kind of a semblance of honesty and equality but not even fully because there's still going to be mankind that is sinful the only place where it's going to be 100 percent perfect is in the new heaven and the new earth but we're going to get some kind of a semblance of you know a normal way of thinking a right way of thinking only then but until such time uh we've got a biased skewed society that has got unjust scales unequal scales that god hates but then nonetheless are in operation and the lord showed me that it, that i'm about to be entered into an environment where i now have got to basically realize that you are god has sent you out there as a wolf among sh a sheep among wolves you gotta be innocent as a dove though shrewd as a snake so you have to capitalize on what it is that he, he has given you to get yourself out of here even if it is to just spark curiosity in people that might disagree with you but disagree or not they will nonetheless view you because you need to get out you need to get out of this environment because the abuse the abuse the, the persecution is just never going to end i am about to enter into a season of famine and in this famine that i'm about to be entered into it is imperative that i look like i'm eating beautiful fresh meals every single day there will be times of plenty so the lord happened me upon fair software do you understand in the run-up to this mess hitting me okay uh and this is how i am going to be similar to that white chick in the car that i spoke about in my previous part please go listen to the previous part if you're trying to figure out what i'm trying to say here okay i'm making a point and i need to get these points out before a certain time hits because i gotta go take a shower and eat all right very well cool so i i told you guys in i believe the first or second maybe third part of this entire series that i had issues with wondershare right the video editing software provider that i use is wondershare it's filmora do you understand and filmora gave me grief and they fixed the issue yesterday no not yesterday but day before or whatever it was fine and after filmora corrected the situation that i was having with them with their software not working properly um ultimately the the internet died off right and that's when this glitch with the technical issues with wi-fi happened out here in these streets very well now that you have that information banking it cool but in the run up to wondershare finally fixing the issue that i have issues with <laughs> okay i was so frustrated that i started to just out of all of my anger and frustration with wondershare for mora i ended up trying to find an alternative software that I am going to use to edit videos because I did not want to carry on with Filmora anymore because I was sick and tired of them dragging their feet with servicing my needs and the fact that it was even the second time I needed to log a call a dispute was annoying to me so I wanted to change plus I also accused them of being woke I've, I've spoke I've spoken about that before I've highlighted that to you guys before so please go check out the previous part to understand what's going on um right here they finally fixed the issue and I'm glad I'm grateful for that but I, 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 in the run up too, I was, you know, lividly just trying to find an alternative, okay, to them um, that was free. I was looking for something that was free because I currently don't have money. I cannot be purchasing another software to work on. Uh, I need to get work out and I cannot be constantly just stopped dead in my tracks because Wondershare is not operating at optimal functionality very well. So I was literally searching the internet for free editors, free. I was looking for free editors. I scoured the internet during the season when my Filmora video editor was not doing what it was supposed to do. I scoured the internet for free video editors. I don't know how many I downloaded from 
Apple Store to see if there's a free version of them that's going to export without the watermark. I did not get very far. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I would like do a small little test video and then when I try to export it's got this chunky ugly menacing watermark on it and I was like no 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 I want something free. Are there no free vid video editors in the market? Are you going to tell me that they don't exist? What's going on? Oh am I going to have to you know just sit right out the wave of sitting around doing nothing like a duck with Wondershare while they fix my issue? Am I going to have to just wait? And I was also irritated with irritated with the fact that there's only two months left uh, or three months at the time right or with, with Wondershare and I need to find an alternative that I then can buy the pro version of once it comes but I first gotta test it so this time I got real serious I hunkered down Wondershare wasted my time for a good year year I wish <laughs> no not I wish but I'm exaggerating there no what I wanted to say was a good week and a half right the the, the Bible calls a year a week a week of days amen Daniel 70th week Amen. So I guess I'm being biblical in the way in me saying a year. It could be a year in God's sight. It's sight one day as a thousand as a thousand years. Moving on. Right. I um they wasted my time for a week and a half. Like an entire weekend I was sitting unable to edit videos. I was so frustrated, guys. I could pull my hair out. I am so backlogged right now, even as I do this job. Okay, the, these videos because of the fact that I'm just sitting here waiting. Sitting here waiting. But thankfully while uh, I could have been able to upload during the time of the Fulmora thing because there was still internet operating Momohaye, I definitely could not edit and for me it was like if I can edit while waiting at least all that will be left when the when um finally you know now I'm in this position I, okay let me rather say it this way during the time when Fulmora was giving me grief Wi-Fi was operating at least what would be the tantamount of swimmingly with me it's always been slow back here Wi-Fi was operating swimmingly then Fulmora gave me, uh, uh, fixed my issue and Im almost immediately, literally could have been just 24 hours after Wondershare fixed my issue, then there was a Wi-Fi problem. I imagine that this Wi-Fi was a technical glitch that will be fixed, but I was like, in so far as during the downtime of Fulmora, I can continue to edit my, uh, my videos then at least by the time that Wi-Fi comes back on again, I can just upload instead of just sitting around waiting. Mara. In the middle of that, remember I researched alternative video editors during the downtime with Fomora. And I did find them. They're free because I frantically searched. I not only searched guys on the, in the computer, uh, but I searched on my phone. Like apps that I can edit on my cell phone device. Because my computer was also giving me grief. It was glitchy. It was twitchy. I was like, okay, anything that I can edit on my iPhone that's always ha it always has to be plugged in now it doesn't work on its own i type the like iphone manji why it's off oh it's because it's not plugged in anyway see now that it's unplugged it's off like yeah so my battery is bust with my iphone i was like i want something that i can at least edit with my iphone i want something that i can at least edit maybe with this android device since these this android device and this iphone are now as good as useless you know how i've been getting issues and then i found software that doesn't give me so many issues even on my android and i'm going to explain how i'm even able to record these videos for so long without all these glitches guys god went before okay but i'm getting there mm. i was like if i can edit on my iphone yes right i've got two phones and both are hand me down so don't think i'll be buying them like i might be looking good but i don't have good things anyway whatever the iphone i told myself i want to edit there uh if i can uh by time like literally save time if i can edit on even the cell phone this one i'm good uh, is there any way where i can find what i'm looking for i want something that has got silence detection i want something that has got um a background remover i want something that has got da -da -da -da. can i find it for free where can i find it for free on the internet canva which i have got the pro version of um has background removed but for like a minute or two or three i want something my videos are long right they're not just one minute so i was like i need background remover on and I searched, guys, I searched, I searched, like, and I searched some more. I, yo, I searched, okay? And I, I Google, I researched, I, I searched again, and I Googled, I went on Google Play. I, I Googled on my computer, uh, free video editing software. Free video editing software. And then whatever Google would recommend to me, right? I would then go on my phone to search for it. I then discovered that, um, not on my phone, I would then try and download it onto my computer. I wanted to download that particular application on my computer, but then there are certain applications that did not get, uh, were un undownloadable on a PC. They, they only operate on the cell phone, right? So you can get them either on the Apple store, but on your phone or on the Play store, if it's an Android device, but on your phone, right? Restricted only to your cell phone device. Uh, very well, I was like, oh goodness, the phone, it's gonna be so messed up. Like I don't wanna work on my phone, it's uncomfortable, but 
if it does the job, then I guess I'll do it on my phone and con and transfer it to my. You get my point. I'll try. I'll convert. I'll transfer it to my com my big my computer, and then I'll upload from there because I prefer to work from my PC, not my phone. Um, I'm not one of those people that are happy to just always be here with the phone. Okay, very well. I was like, look, if it does what it, I wanted to do, then I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy. And guys, I found something called the two softwares. Um, actually, on Apple Store, they came in like a bundle on Apple Store. Yeah, but on Android, they didn't come in a bundle, right? As soon as I was like, free video editing software, there came up this one company called UCAM Video or UCAM Photo or whatever. UCAM, UCAM, UCAM. As in you and you and you are beautiful. Yeah, cam for camera, right? I then was like, okay, let me try and, down and download it on my computer over here. It didn't download because it was only for mobile. Very well. Went on my Android, this one that I'm recording from. And I also tried with my Apple. No, I went on my Android and tried to download it from my Android device and it told me you can't, it's not available for your version of Android because it's old. <laughs> I was told that my Android device was old. Very well. So I, I used the Apple, okay? And I downloaded like a package. It had like a UCAM package. It's called UCAM Beauty. Okay, UCAM Beauty. That is the name of the application. And it came in a package where it gave UCAM camera, UCAM beauty, UCAM selfie, UCAM makeup, UCAM whatnot. I was like, whatever, let me see. Does, it, this, does this thing have a video editor? I didn't understand why I was being sold like uh, something that takes selfies or that records videos. But I was looking for a video editor. But according to the internet, this had editing capabilities. So I was like, I'll tease for now. I mean it's just a download if it sucks then it's fine i'll delete it off my phone to create space so i downloaded you cam beauty on my apple phone uh type establishment thing guys and when i went into it the first thing i, I looked for was a video edit a video editing functionality video editing functionality that's the first thing that i went looking for inside it right uh, and also to test if indeed i can uh, you know export this thing without a watermark if i can export this thing without a menacing watermark that's literally splattered all across my screen you can barely see my face yeah, so I went inside and I I offloaded, I down I I downloaded or offload I don't know what what the word is, uploaded from my Mac one of my videos that were raw and unedited onto my cell phone device since I could only edit on my cell phone device, right? And then I clicked on the video editor and uploaded this video on the video editor and once I was inside the video editor I was looking for silence detection I was looking for the ability to cut to rotate to you know basically things that you look for on a video editor to see and then also trying to export to see if it'll have no watermark type setup thing guys and no, I didn't I'm, I'm creative and I'm very curious right I'm extremely curious so when I see other funny features I'm like I test them I check I click on it what does this do what does this do what does this do guys when I happened upon you cam right and I started to edit my one of my videos on you cam ne I noticed that in the banner below where you can edit ne there came a feature for makeup <laughs> <laughs> there was makeup <laughs> there was makeup there was a beauty filter there was a lipstick like makeup just makeup basically and also reshaping faces and like broadening your chin your chin making it smaller making your lips bigger making them smaller i noticed that that was there so i was like oh my goodness i've always wanted to wear makeup a full face beat but i don't trust makeup because i believe makeup is the sun of the 90s i will say this again i believe makeup is the sun of the 90s and the 80s before sunscreen was a big fat thing that was punted down everybody's throats people were getting in sun beds tanning they were going to the beach and they were then getting to the age of 40 all wrinkled they were like realizing age spots they were getting dead like they saw that uv rays are absolutely decimating of one's own youth uh, but not before the research made it clear that sunscreen things are destructive i believe that makeup is the smoke of the 60s i believe it is the canola oil of the 80s stuff that ultimately researchers discover is destructive in some way to the human general cause but in the run-up to everybody's just running to town with it and the reason why i believe that is because i have observed it to me with my one two eyes in my mom's friends my mother is anti makeup she doesn't really hate it but she's never been a fan of it she's never worn it and she has aged more gracefully than her friends some of whom are a good 10 years younger than her because my mother went to university later than everybody else and she made friends there who were 10 years younger 
and uh, not only have I noticed that her friends are a lot more aged than her despite being younger than her I, I also noticed that they've got horrible texture they have got their patchy they've got a cloasma loss of it like um what, what is cloasma yeah the chubaba they got that going down a lot they have to rely on makeup their skin just looks terrible and they're also darker like there was this friend of my mom's that on the come up she was a bright yellow bone and now she's dark in complexion and can't nobody understand that and for me it's like something burnt her something changed the color of her face because she's still a yellow bone on her body but she's not on her face and old age does not change your skin complexion it's old age makes you sag and get wrinkles and whatnot but it doesn't change your complexion and i know that upon applying random multiple products on your face you can get the skin condition called ochronosis right and ochronosis is basically uh if you overuse skin lightening creams like hydroxy uh, like hydro Sequinone, it's that's what it's called, right? Hydroxyquinone or hydro, yeah, whatever that one. Um, that's why it has to be via prescription in certain countries. If you just overuse it, overuse it, it can create a, a literally an irreversible skin condition called ochronosis, where you just got these black patches all over your face, right? Some um, melasma or cloasma can be, you know, reversed using interventions by a dermatologist, like maybe I don't know your what is it like niacinamide? I don't know, right? AHAs, BHAs, however, under the control of a physician under the control of a dermatologist matter there are conditions that are so severe that like there's no turning back and many women in africa have been red decimated by trying out the unregulated creams on the market and whatnot that have literally changed the constitution of their faces they've changed their skin texture they have also changed their skin color their tone they've decimated all the melanin in their skin and we need our melanin to protect us our melanin is what indeed also pro pro in the uh, kingdom produces the darkness of these dark spots on our faces it's a place uh, a site of healing etc and you know it's just nature it happens every race has melanin but we got a little bit more of it because we're black type establishment thing so if you like strip your skin of melanin altogether what in the world under heaven could end up being the end result of that i don't believe in skin bleaching for those reasons because it is an uh, a demalification of a woman why oh man because these days you get these brothers be doing it too like why under heaven would you want to make yourself a yellow bone anyway that's my our own theory some people might uh, claim that makeup has come a long way they are now manufacturing it having taken such things into consideration and they are protecting women now that's why you get drugstore makeup and that's why you get high-end makeup and they all like this regulation now in the industry but remember there was also always regulation in the food industry until such time that we found out that certain trans fats can cause you know heart disease they can cause a stroke we like uh, cigarettes were also sort of so somewhat regulated until it became clear that they cause lung cancer like yeah so now for me i feel as though i have had an opportunity to do a longitudinal study on the effects of makeup by just observing elderly women that i grew up in the presence of and the climate of that are still currently in my life because they're my mother's friends and i have seen the difference in my mom's skin in comparison to the skin of my mom's friends who used to wear makeup when my mom did there is a vast difference and what is especially telling of these particular statistics for me is the fact that my mother is literally a good 10 sometimes even 15 years older than her friends yes she looks younger than them yes that might be all genetics because I look a lot younger than my age genetics do play a role but really taking care of your skin goes a long way it's like black people feeling like they don't need sunscreen genetics might work for you your melanated skin might work for you but I dare you to like not wear sunscreen and check and hang out in the sun and just bask in it and see how you look in comparison to a white woman for instance that has used sunscreen since she was 21 and maybe even started using tretinoin or whatever you will see a difference she will look younger than you as a black woman so therefore you then get to debunk that that thing that makes black people feel proud saying that black don't crack now here it is that you've cracked worse than even a white girl because she took care of herself so it's a difference of nature versus nurture so i guess indeed it might have everything to do with the fact that my mom has taken better skin of her care of herself, but that's just the thing she hasn't. My mom has never been a skincare, uh, what do you call this thing, like very obsessive type establishment thing. She's never been like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, I want to like sprinkle this particular serum on me. She's not like me at all, like not even in the slightest, okay? For her, it's like whatever I can put on my face, I put it. After having my little sister, she has such a bad case of cloasma, like the Chubaba. That was the first time she actually saw a dermatologist because she could not stand these black patches that were induced by hormones in pregnancy. Mara, um, other than that, you will never see my mom going to a dermatologist to get prescribed an anti-aging serum or an anti-aging cream like tretinoin so that she can reverse the signs of 
age of photo aging now that she's 60 whatever no no my mom also never really cared to wear sunscreen she also never really cared to avoid the sun she's always been somewhat of a sun worshiper when we went to the beach you know she would just bask there and just allow herself to get all darkened by the sun so we're speaking about a woman that was not very nurturing of her own skin yet all these years down the line she looks so much better than her friends who i guess had similar habits so it is a it, it, it is not a controlled study uh so all things equal maybe there are things that these people did but there are so many of them that the probability that they all just had these bad care skincare habits in comparison to my mom is highly unlikely it's very low uh especially considering it is only now in this 21st century that everybody's just so obsessed about their skin and what have you right so my mom her skin turned out better and she has aged better only thing that looks similar across all of them is because that's what black women do they've all gotten fat and they just have not cared to do anything about that right but uh, irrespective of how fat they all are now my mom's face is better so too is her like neck like everything about her is better than all of them and i attribute that 100 percent to the fact that my mother has never touched makeup like guys not even eyeliner mascara yes every so often they would do a photo op in her office and they would put makeup on her but that was the only time the difference was makeup so having observed all of these things now personally i don't believe in makeup in the worst way i feel as if though it decimates the face i feel like in the long run it destroys i feel like it's the canola oil of the 80s i feel like it is the sun of the 90s i feel like makeup is the um heart disease induced seed oils that now today we know have got issues you know what i mean but like uh you know we only found out like day before yesterday plus the uh beauty industry is a multi-billion dollar industry everybody knows that it's just like so money making uh, some people pay people to shut up about discoveries that they've made in laboratories you know what i mean like so there are scientists that likely know this but nobody cares information will ultimately come to the forefront and people will discover that this is destructive uh in the black community in particular there's like a whole challenge and an issue and a problem with bleaching of one skin i don't know how under heaven anybody can imagine that they can continue to bleach their skins and be okay in the long run in terms of aging one bleaching decimates your melanin melanin is excruciatingly and violently as it has been proven beneficial for anti-aging i mean uh, the black race is by far the most unaging race on the earth because of how dark our skin is and how much darker it is even the better so why in the world would you want to go and take away that which gives you an advantage when you are now 52 that's the one thing and then there is the um, the, the, the fact that uh, like these celebrities continue to bleach themselves bleach themselves and nobody's coming out to like you know warn them because everybody's so obsessed with colorism and everybody's so obsessed with being a yellow bone and basically looking white to a point where celebrities who have bleached themselves clearly so um nobody has stopped them but you can now see what the results of not only excessive makeup has done to them but also bleaching they look older than the rest of us i will give you two in my own country uh especially kanyimbao kanye is younger than me by a good three years or four or whatever i stand created but she is younger than me yet kanyimbao is already like very visibly aged on her face and she cannot go out of the way out not even a single day without makeup she has to wake up wearing it she cannot not wear makeup because she is hiding the fact that she is aging ridiculously kanye i would i believe she doesn't smoke kanye agabe me i'm a cigarette if she does then she's not showing it to anybody so we are not speaking um cigarettes having done this to her aging her prematurely everybody knows that cigarettes do age people prematurely they also cause you to get these wrinkles around the lips real fast it ain't cigarettes and kangi it might be alcohol but really and truly i doubt it my mom doesn't drink either um because there are a whole bunch of people that still indulge in alcohol every so often um but they still are sort of kind of aging properly and what have you ukangi bleached her skin and not only that she's been wearing makeup since she was just a toddler okay not a toddler but you get that's a hyperbole she has been wearing makeup ever since she could like you know happen upon it and right now in this like 21st century that we're living in very unfortunately young girls um as i mean my little sister i never touched makeup until my trick dance do you understand because you know we had to wear it because it was my trick dance and what have you after well afterwards of which i did not touch it again i only ever wore ask eyeliner and mascara that was my thing with makeup uh, no more than that really the lipsticky blush but never did i ever cover my face with just like wads upon wads upon wads of it like concealer uh, foundation like all these powders because like why would you want to bury your pores why do you want to hide your pores there must be some long-term like damage that is being done to you in that regard so much so is this obviously clear that dermatologists and scientists abroad alike have said that do not sleep with your makeup like if you can't sleep with it it ain't safe like do not sleep with your makeup why would they say don't sleep with your makeup if there was something 
something inherently undestructive about makeup. There must be something that is so destructive and so aging. Indeed, the thing that causes you to, uh, the thing, the, the reason why they say don't sleep with your makeup on is the fact that it can age you desperately and very quickly, quite prematurely. So if dermatologists keep on like hammering down and doctors and estheticians and all these people saying do not sleep with your makeup on, you need to ask yourself what is it about makeup that can cause you to age? What is it that when you are sleeping and is it not doing that when I'm awake? Is it not doing that when I'm awake? And very highly likely is, but it's also doing it worse when you are asleep because then you're like, you know, brushing your face against your sheets and your pillows and all that jazz. So all like that warning, yeah, don't sleep without makeup. It was already being reverberated in the circles of my own upbringing. Uh, and so for those reasons, I was like, why? That's so destructive that if I sleep with it, it's going to age me prematurely. What is it? Because I used to wear mascara and it was so, I was so lazy to remove it every single night that for me, it was like, I suga, whatever. And I would just end up sleeping with it. But then I would worry that I'm going to age, especially around my eyes really quickly, right? Persecution threw me into a place, a place or a position where I don't wear makeup anymore because for what, for who? For what, for who, right? Uh, that is what's good because where am I going to go? So for the past like almost decade, I have not put... Uh, uh, makeup on my face except for like one at a time when I went for like a job interview and what have you and lit thing and not a whole full face beat I've never been a, f a face beat girl there was a season when I was experimenting with face beats right here in front of my camera but then I stopped because I just like it was too much work right but I am back now to Conviction Boulevard concerning makeup because I believe it ages women prematurely it also causes acne in some people and if something can do that to your face if something can ultimately bring uh, acne on your face they, it must be Yes, we get that there are people who create non-comedogenic and comedogenic makeup, right? They, they go out of their way to make sure that it does not, it's not poor clogging type makeup. But the fact that any makeup at all has got potential to even bring a pimple on your face suggests that there is something about it. That, you know, there are women who have stopped wearing makeup and their faces have cleared altogether. I'm not trying to get, I'm not anti-makeup. I'm not one of those. Okay, guys, let's move to the next part so we can continue with this discussion.